Southeast Louisiana. It was a great day to be outside. No rain around. Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr is here now with the forecast. Margaret. I know. Don't you want to catch a cruise and go down river? I Wouldn't know. that be nice? Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And look out the window here. We're looking at the causeway. No problems with weather and traffic. All right. I got in a great twig pick. This one is from Cam Dotree. Look at those blue skies and the green grass. And finally beginning to dry out there because we had days of rain as well. But that's a gorgeous picture. And then we can also check and see what's happening in the tropics. And the good news is nothing. We're looking great in the Gulf and in the Atlantic Basin. Now in the East Pacific, 20% chance for tropical development in the next three to five days. And a new report out on the potential for El Nino developing in the fall. It's not looking as good. Maybe a 35 to 50 percent chance. More likely that neutral conditions will continue. And you're going, what does this mean? Well, it means that we won't have those strong upper level winds to kind of tear tropical systems apart. Here is a look at what's happening back home. And the truth is nothing. We've got a light northeast wind. We've got dry air that's moving in. It feels pretty fabulous for the first part of June. Now, we do have an air quality alert in effect tomorrow, Livingston Parish over towards the Baton Rouge area. So if you are sensitive to uh, kind of dirty air is basically what it is. You need to stay inside during that hot time of the day. Looking at our rivers, still high for the Pearl, but it's minor flood, moderate for Baton Rouge. And the Mississippi River at the Carrollton Gauge has just dropped below 16 feet, but it's still running high and fast. We can look at our forecast, and the truth is I really don't see rain overnight into tomorrow or even for your Saturday. But a heads up, rain chances are going up for your Sunday. So for the Creole Tomato Festival, weather is looking great. And for the Pride Parade Saturday night, the weather is looking great. Then as you go into Sunday, look at what happens. We've got this warm front that's moving to the north and that will give us some rain chances. So just stay weather aware. This is from last night showing the almost full moon. Of course, it is full tomorrow, 8, 10 in the morning. The problem is it will have set at 6, 13 in the morning. So you want to get up early so you can really see it at its max. And it's actually a mini moon because it's farther away than usual at 250,000 miles. We call it the full strawberry moon. Meanwhile, looking great for your pollen. It's low right now because of all of the rain that we've had, but everything's starting to bloom. So there's going to be more pollen in the air. High temperature so far, 83 degrees. Meanwhile, we can look at our temperatures about the area in the low to the mid 80s, but Bell Chase, 88 degrees. We've got that north wind at 8 to about 10 miles per hour, gusting to 7. So still a little bit of a wind gust. 9 o'clock, low 70s north shore to the upper 70s south. And as you go into the morning, you may briefly have a little bit of a low fog, and then it's going to dissipate very quickly. Low temperatures in the low 60s to near 70 degrees, and your high temperatures are going to be climbing into the mid to the upper 80s. So looking at tomorrow, I've got a sunny day, kind of a cool start. Look at these morning lows. Then sun Sunday rain chances begin to go up. The clouds are going to increase and into the week, Tuesday and Wednesday, still rain chances.